introduce yourself and well, I don't think it is. Okay. There it is. Um, my name is Terry Michael. Um, I'm director of the Washington Center for Politics and Journalism. Uh, specific to this uh, program, I'm a 37-year member of the Washington gay community. First of all, thank you for this, and I've never seen a program this long end on time this fast. And I also want to direct this question to Dr. Pappas, the head of the HIV, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, longest named uh, agency I have ever seen in my life, HIV AIDS Administration. I want to ask you about the latest fad pre-exposure prophylaxis and what you're going to be advising local physicians. Um, this FDA approved um, intervention is uh, apparently going to uh, make a lot of money for Gilead uh, with its Truvada, but a lot of us have questions about this. And um, I want to ask you this question by example. If I went to my doctor who happens to be a gay doctor, mostly gay practice in Washington, has been my doctor for 30 years, and if he said, Terry, thanks for coming in uh, for your six-month blood pressure check. I've got something new for you. I want you to take these three or four antibiotics every day for the rest of your life because it will keep you, even though you're 65 and you, you may someday have sex again, and this will keep you from getting um, gonorrhea or syphilis. If he said that to me, would he not be engaged in medical malpractice? And if he also said to me, here, take this chemotherapy with its well-assessed 15 years side effects, liver toxicity, renal failure, heart disease. If he said to me, Terry, take this for the rest of your life, it might protect you from this retrovirus. Would he not be engaged in medical malpractice? And what are you going to be advising Washington physicians? Well, I thank you for the, for the question. Uh, this is a national debate, and you, I think you've f framed the issues very well. Um, I personally am very ca cautious about it. I, th I think one study shows something, but uh, what that one study means in, in, an, in a public health context, in a community, is a very, very different thing. I think before we rush off and make any great uh, uh, decisions, it's, we need a lot more experience about what this means. I'm, I'm also a gay man, so I, I know my community. And you know, So we got Disco Girl, and she's got her ecstasy pill, and this pill, she doesn't know what, she's, what it is, and then she's got her Druvada pill. She didn't know which one to take tonight. So I, I, have, I have severe, my own severe res, res, reservations about but, but it. But what are you, as the head of the HIV AIDS administration, going to be recommending to physicians? Surely you have a responsibility to make a recommendation. We are not making a recommendation right now. The CDC has not made, made a recommendation. Uh, this is a, you know, an FDA approval. It's, it's been proven that, that, that it works in that setting, and, and physicians in individual practices can make decisions. Uh, from a public health perspective, I don't think we're ready to make any recommendations. So you're until, not prepared to say it's malpractice? Not, not until we have very serious, very serious study about the, the implications in community and the, and the implications that you raise. Other, other questions? I see someone there who wants to make a question, but you, no? Well, with that, with that, I thank you. I thank our panelists.